guys, I am Bean and I am Nam and welcome to our channel. As you saw in our previous video, we had spent an entire day in this beautiful property of Oleander Farms. Sipping some yummy cocktails and eating their finest delicacies, such was our experience at Salt Karjat. We enjoyed a perfect meal amidst the beauty and serenity of nature. Do watch our previous video to see Salt Karjat in all its glory. This is the Kencho house. Basically, uh, it's like a beautiful version of a nursery. They've kept all kinds of plants, uh, different species. You can come and purchase your plants from here. They're absolutely beautiful. It's like a little uh, greenhouse. the day started to come to an end, we felt a sweet sadness take over us. Even though we were tired, I still wanted to experience that one last bit of what Oleander Farms has to offer. The day has come to an end and I just didn't realize how my day has passed. It's been so beautiful, it's been so wonderful, a perfect birthday. So now we're headed for our dinner. Uh, we're going to the common house. They serve Lebanese, they serve Mexican, and they serve European food. They don't serve Indian food at the common house. Indian food is only available at the salt. So let's go and see the common house. You know, there's so much to see and experience in this property that I just lost track of time. I know I said I would show you the stay and lodging at Oleander Farms, but it was a bit late to see the property. And I'm really sorry we couldn't show it to you. But I'm going to put their link in the description box so that you can get all the details that you need. Welcome to the common house. The staff here are extremely polite and welcoming. Through the entire day of us being here, they made us feel so special and cared for. So Oleander Farms also has a microbrewery and we are going to see what it is all about. Common House is a microbrewery. They have some amazing in-house brews, a bar and a gorgeous food menu that you can pair with their fresh brews. So this is where Common House beers are brewed. Mumbai and Punekars love their beers. So in my opinion, this would be that perfect getaway to enjoy some. They brew their own beer here and they've given me four kinds of beer to taste. Uh, so we're going to start with the first one. So this is the rice beer. They grow their rice over here and they've brewed it into a beer. Let me try this. So initially it's like beer <laughs> because I don't understand too much but the end note like a nice earthy, earthy organic feeling in your mouth. I think Rajvi will be able to explain better. Okay. Yeah, so towards the end you get the yeah. rice flavor. Yeah, yeah. Let's try the second one. This one is uh, the German wheat beer. Um, I don't really understand the difference, but <laughs> so it's made of German wheat. I don't really understand the difference. Maybe if it was wine, I would have probably understood it better. Okay. So um, the third one is made of Ratnagiri mangoes. That's like a first time. I've never heard of this. Oh my god, this tastes like mango. This tastes like mango. I can get like that afternoon of fruity kind of a feeling. It's nice. Try this. 
This is the ultimate. Uh, so it's the is, strongest. It's the strongest. Uh, this is coffee beer. Let me. I'm not so keen, but I'm going to try. You will need it. Very very strong. It's got really strong note of coffee in it. Not my, not my flavor. It's like mango flavor. Yeah, very flavor. fruity. Very fruity. Very nice. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. I have to drive back, so I'm not having the bigger bottle or a bigger glass. So this is the last one. It coffee. looks like coffee shop, but it's not. It's not. It's quite strong, yeah. It's bitter. But the beer is good, yeah. Yeah. I like the ones that are grown here. So the coffee one is more flavorful, and the others are grown here. Yeah, the others are mild but good. That one is very strong. So maybe if you guys come here, you all can order. If you drink in the afternoon, if you have someone to drive you back home. We'll be driving ourselves, so we're kind of abstaining from drinking too much. Yeah. That's my donor falafel. Thank you so much for watching this video and we hope to see you soon. Uh, if you liked it, do hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe, subscribe. to our channel. Yeah? <laughs>